Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebro. So in this video, I will be explaining that how to fix high ping in Roblox on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 and what are the best possible solution to lower the ping in Roblox. Now before starting, I would recommend you that try to ping the Roblox server and find out that what kind of ping you are getting from them. So it's very simple. Click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on command prompt, then click run as admin, click on yes. In the black window, you have to type ping roblox.com. Hit the enter key. Now this will be connecting to the Roblox server and will let you know that what kind of response you are getting. And on my end, you can see I'm getting the average of 287 MS. That is quite high. And that's what we have to reduce. So you can minimize it. Next, you need to come to the speed test website. The link will be in the description. Now, once you come up here, you have to click on go. And this will be testing your internet downloading, uploading speed along with the ping and the latency. So now here you can see that I'm getting a high ping that is of 30. Even the latency is fluctuating and is high. And the downloading and uploading speed is fine. It's constant, no problem. But in case if you find a very high ping and the slow downloading and uploading speed, then I would also recommend that you speak to your internet service provider let them know that you are getting a very poor connection speed all right so now we can move with the troubleshooting and the very first thing that i would recommend you that if you are still using the wi-fi connection then kindly go ahead and switch to the lan ethernet connection this is the most and the most powerful method that will give you the instant differences and you will find that the ping from 30 has been reduced to 5 or 7. All right, so if you still you have not switched to the LAN connection, then kindly go ahead and connect through the LAN connection. Now, after this, what you will have to do, right click on the Windows icon, then from the suggestion, click on settings. In this setting from the left in menu option, click on network and internet. Now here you have to look for VPN, so click on it and make sure that no VPN connection has been enabled. And you also need to disable both these options then go back then you'll find the proxy option here also you need to make sure the manual proxy has not been set up if it's been on then you have to disable it and then you can close it and now we need to unblock few ports that are blocked by windows defender firewall so for that what you will have to do click on your windows search type defender in this suggestion you will be getting windows defender firewall click on it then from the left in menu option, click on advanced settings. This kind of page will be up. Now here from the left in option, first click on inbound rules. Then on the right hand side, you will find new rule. Click on it. This will bring up another box. Now here you have to select port. Then click on next. It says TCP or UDP. So you will have to select UDP. And here you have to mention the port number. So type here 491526535. So there will not be any kind of space. Only you have to type the dash sign. Then you have to click on next. Make this to allow the connection. Click on next. Next. You can name it as Roblox inbound port unblocked okay then you have to click on finish so once this port has been created you have to click on outbound rules again click on new rule choose port then click on next choose udp and type the same port number that we just did in the inbound so we will type the same ports 491526535 then click on next 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 and here you can type outbound roblox port okay this is not so important this you can write anything that you want to so that you can uh, just remember that when exactly you created and for what purpose then you have to click on finish now you're all done close it next click on your windows search type game mode then from the suggestion click on game mode settings and here you have to make sure the game mode option has been enabled. 
once you are done click on the setting search type game bar you will be getting enable xbox game bar click on it and make sure this xbox game bar option has been disabled then you can close it the next click on your windows search type cmd right click on command prompt click run as admin click on yes now here we have to run few network command in order to get you the fresh ip and clear all kind of dns problem so all these command you will be getting in the description you can copy them one by one and paste here to run it so the first command will be ip config space or slash slash dns hit the enter key then you have to type ip config space for slash register dns again hit the enter key the next you have to type ip config space for slash release then type ip config space for slash renew let all this command get run then final command will be ndtsh space winsock space reset once done you can close it now next make a right click on the windows icon then you have to click on task manager now while playing the roblox it's always recommended that try closing all the other heavy application that is running in the background okay so you have to keep in your mind that as many as application will be opened the more resources will be occupied the more bandwidth will be occupied so in order to reduce it close all the application that you are not using while playing the roblox it's very simple look for the application here right click on it choose end task okay so now we are remaining with final two steps so right click on the windows icon from the suggestion click on device manager now here you have to look for network adapter double click on it and here you will find the intel wi-fi and the lan adapter as well so just update both of them make a right click on it choose update driver then click search automatically for drivers and if the update are available it will automatically update it do the same with the real tag that is for the lan connection right click update search automatically for driver so if the drivers are up to date then you can close it and then next you have to click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now they suggested you that you should go and use the ethernet connection so right click on it click on properties then you have to go to internet protocol version 4 double click on it and here you have to select the second option that says use the following dns server address so here in the preferred and the alternate you can either use the google or the cloudflare dns address so i'm using the cloudflare but if you want to go with the google one then you can type here in the preferred 888 and 8 and in the alternate it will be 884 and 4 you will find these ip in the description you can also copy from there now once you are done finally click on configure click on yes here from the top menu option you have to click on the power management uncheck this option then from the top menu option only click on advanced and here you have to scroll down and you will find the speed in duplex now depending on your internet speed if you are getting a speed somewhere around 100 mbps like 50 70 80 then you have to click on the drop down and choose it to 100 mbps full duplex but if you are getting the speed higher than 100 mbps like 500 mbps 200 or 300 then you can go and select 1 gbps full duplex now click on ok and you are all set now so this time when you restart your computer and check back you will find a great difference you will find that ping has been reduced and you are now getting the better performance so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all this solution you will find the difference and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any kind of question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye